Being perhaps one of fashion's biggest faux pas, we should clear this up early. It's not pronounced Hermes, it's Hermes. A design house like no other, this French brand represents the utmost in heritage, craftsmanship and exclusivity, firmly sitting within the ultra-luxury designer bracket. The story of Hermes can be encapsulated in two of their most famous bags, and the lives of the women that they were named after, Grace Kelly and Jane Birkin. Epitomising the relationship between fame, finance and fashion, these bags have become cultural icons that reach far beyond the rarefied confines of high-end retail. It was in the 1930s that Hermes introduced one of its biggest success stories, the Buy Bag, later renamed the Kelly, in honour of actress Grace Kelly. With little introduction required, this American film star has gone down in cinematic legend. Intelligence, talent and a refined personal style got her noticed early with her breakthrough role in 1952's High Noon, catapulting her into a quick succession of blockbuster films, including Rear Window, The Country Girl and High Society. Eleven films into her career though, and everything changed. Whilst in Cannes to promote To Catch a Thief, she met Prince Rainier III of Monaco. It was a whirlwind romance for the two. And soon after, the couple were engaged, and with it the newly titled Princess Grace of Monaco abandoned the silver screen. That same year, in 1956, a photograph of Grace caught the public's attention. Plastered across the covers of magazines and newspapers around the world, it showed her dressed in the chicest of ensembles, finished off with her beloved Hermes Seca de Peche. She was strategically holding it to shield her pregnancy from the paparazzi. But there was an unintended outcome. She was upstaged by her tote. Customers stormed Hermes stores, asking for the Kelly bag she was carrying. The style quickly became associated with the actress, and in homage to her paired back but statement-making dress sense, Hermes renamed it after her. Yet, it wasn't the only product from the designer that the film star made her own. She reportedly used one of their silk calais scarves as a sling when she broke her arm. Resourceful. Grace's life may sound like a fairy tale, but it was tragically cut short when in 1982 she was killed in a car crash on the Côte d'Azur. The official line is that she lost control of the car, but rumours have always swelled around the supposed truth behind her death. Someone else was driving, links to the occult, a pre-accident argument with a passenger. The truth behind the tragedy is likely much more straightforward. But that hasn't stopped the conspiracy theories. Of Hermes Irv, the only other item that tops a Kelly is a Birkin. In a league of its own, the bag represents the peak of the luxury goods sector. A household name, its place in fashion surpasses even the brand itself. And it all started on a flight from Paris to London. The then Hermes CEO Jean-Louis Dumas watched as Jane Birkin spilled the contents of her basket out of the overhead locker. After introducing himself, the pair discussed what the actress and singer would want in the perfect accessory, drawing the design on the back of a paper sickness bag. Jane, already a fashion icon by the time of their meeting, was known for her oat hippie style and bohemian character. The Anglo-French starlet began her career in the award-winning 1966 film Blow Up, going on to take major roles in the controversial classics such as Je t'aime moi non plus and making music most famously with Serge Gainsbourg. In 1984, Hermes released the completed bag planned during that in-flight conversation. And although they named it after Jane, she has only ever owned four of the style in her life. There's no fun in a bag if it's not kicked around so that it looks as if the cat's been sitting on it, the actress told Vogue.com nonchalantly. The relationship with Jane and Hermes hasn't always been sunshine and roses, though. In 2015, the animal rights organisation PETA claimed that the brand was mistreating crocodiles in the manufacturing of the crocskin version of the Birkin bag. Jane requested that they cease using her name in association with the style, and it wasn't until Hermes proved their ethical credentials that she agreed that the iconic bag would keep its moniker. 
Timeless is an often overused term in fashion, but there couldn't be a better description for the company. Paid celebrity endorsements may not be their thing, but its identity continues to be subtly informed by those two early muses, Jane's effortless and free-spirited approach to style and Grace's understated, elegant eye have shaped how Hermes continues to be seen today. Yeah.